and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, my name is Mia. Welcome to Manoa's Morning Messages. Today is Friday, June 21st, 2019. Today is a day two and it's also fun day. We'll have fun and fabulous, fantastic Friday at Manoa Elementary School today. For lunch today, hot dogs or hamburgers, turkey, turkey salami or cheese sandwich, or green salad with chicken. All with a fresh watermelon! We had some rain this week again. I think it could be possible. Maybe it could be time to hang up my winter coat. It sure felt like it this week. We had sunshine and 80 degrees someday. It is sure nice to be able to go outside. Hoping we have the best weather today for fun day. Sunny and wonderful. How about you students? What do you do when it's nice out? Trout update, they're gone. Wait, this just said, they're not all gone. Some didn't leave Mr. K's room. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Madeline with the Trout Update. Mr. K's class released the trout last Monday at Lush Creek. Mr. K kept five trout to get bigger over the summer. You can really see how much those trout have grown. Wow! Do you think they'll still be here in September? Maybe so, unless Mr. Gerst or Mr. K decide to go fishing. <laughs> so that's me to finish our calendar of character strings. We are highlighting some to the end of the year. This week we will highlight hope and optimism. Hope and optimism means you expect the best from the future and work to achieve it. As we think about graduating as fifth graders, we have a lot of hope and optimism for our futures. You're right. We have a really solid foundation here at Manoa. And now, the sky is the limit. I'm certainly optimistic. Optimistic. How about you, Manoa Elementary? This week, we will recognize the last group of students for the year for the month of June. Congratulations to all the students. Here we go. Here we go. Class Haley P. for Appreciation of Beauty and Excellence, Darius T. for Zest and Enthusiasm, Carter W. for love, and Michelle H. for love. In Mr. Garvey's class, Madison B. for just and enthusiasm, and Madison M. for just and enthusiasm. And that's not all. Here are some more great June students. In Ms. Cassiano's class, Molly W. for creativity, Callie R. for open-mindedness, and Madison V. for curiosity. In Ms. Bonus's class, Amar a for Zest and Enthusiasm, Peter G for Humor, Dwayne M for Creativity, V Boo S for Perseverance. In Miss Boyce's class, Aubrey M for Love, Ryan O for Prudence, Sophia P for Connection slash Sense of Purpose, Kai W for Honesty, and Renee Y for Perseverance. And in Miss Wal Walter's class, all 18 students for Teamwork. Great, Great job, job for, for June, everyone! everyone. There were not any field trips this week. We did have a lot of awesome things going on, though. On Monday, we had the high school seniors who attended Manila Elementary for school visit our school and walk through one last time. We made signs, stood in the hall, and clapped for them as they walked by. Congratulations to all of the seniors. You really have made it made a big accomplishment. Think we will be taking that walk in seven years? Speaking of moving onward and upward, we had a special visit from the middle school principals on Wednesday. That's right. Mr. Mahorder from Pine Grove Middle School came and visited us to talk about our next three years. It sounds like Pine Grove has a lot to offer. That's true. But they, they'll also have a lot of responsibility. They even have our own lockers. The music world still has a lot going on going on here at Manila Elementary. That's right. Even though there's only four days left, we have three musical events. Today, in a few minutes actually, we have our school-wide talent show. At kindergarten graduation on Tuesday, the kindergartners will have a couple cute songs to share. And finally, at fifth grade graduation on Wednesday, we will be performing some memorable pieces. We are we are really looking forward to all of it. Thank you to Mrs. McCumber and Mrs. Career and all of our loyal music fans for making sure the music at Manoa Elementary is such a special part of our time here. Remember, last Friday we celebrated Flag Day. Since it was a little rainy, we had our celebration inside instead of by the flag. 
All the students got together and performed patriotic songs to celebrate by the flag. Thanks to all the musicians for sharing with us and to the flag. You're, you're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag. There are only three days left of school after today. That's right. School's out for the summer starting on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Next Tuesday and Wednesday, we are short in days. On Tuesday and Wednesday, we will be dismissed at 11 a.m. Keep that in mind as you plan your week. And then, Thursday, Friday, and every day... And every day thereafter until September 3rd, there is no school. See you in September. Your awesome face today because it's fun day. That's right. The talent show will be fun. But then after, there's a whole day of fun planned. Students will be bouncing, playing on the playground, running, playing capture the flag, and more. That's right. There's even going to be a K9, police K9 unit here for us to check out. Enjoy your fun day. It's going to be great. Thanks to everyone who made it happen. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Again, it is an understatement to say that we will have some amazing people here at Manoa that will be retiring this year. We wanted to make sure that we tapped into their wisdom and told them how much we care before they waved to the buses one last time on Wednesday, June 26th. Today we will hear part two of some words from Mrs. Chase, Mrs. Huff, and Mrs. Walters. Natalie, do you remember anything about first grade in my classroom? Uh, yes, I, um, uh, writing was very fun. Was yeah. it? Yeah. Do you remember any of the pieces that you wrote? I remember writing about lions, I mm. think. You loved lions. You brought a story from kindergarten that you had written about lions. But I think you were um, kind of on track to become um, some kind of an environmental uh, person that would maybe save the lions. Did I tell you that my favorite movie when I was young was uh, Born Free? Did I tell you that? Okay. That's the story about lions. A woman who wanted to keep lions. So I guess I get to ask you a question now. Okay. Okay. What do you remember about kindergarten? Well, I remember that when you couldn't find things, I found them for you. <laughs> and I remember how at recess, when we didn't go outside, I was always play with the blocks. They were like my favorite toy in your classroom. Mm -hmm. And about all the crafts like you talked about mm -hmm. and one more thing I remember is how during the centers um, my mom would come in and help mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah she came in a lot didn't she? yeah 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 she was great help. there's one more thing I actually remember um, okay. about the dances we did during morning meeting oh music and movement yeah yeah <laughs> It wakes up your brain. That and was your really body. funny. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad you remember all those things, Emily. <laughs> I could go on and on about the things I remember about you, but I remember you being so organized and finding <laughs> things that I lost. Oh, Emily, where's this? Emily, where's that? Yeah. You asked me to clean your house. I did because you were really good at cleaning <laughs> the classroom. <laughs> Maybe in my retirement you can clean my house. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I don't want to clean Tommy stuff though. No, no, no. You don't want to clean Tommy stuff. <laughs> Yeah. 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 With the combined number of years we've been here teaching is what I mean, what's that big so number? what is yours? Thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty-three. Forty-four. Watch this calculator. How much is it all together? One hundred and nine years. <laughs> That's amazing. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of years of teaching. But it doesn't appear to be, you know. I it doesn't appear mm. to me to be that it's been this that I've been doing this for that many years. Goes by quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it goes by really fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't think there's ever been, there has never been a morning where I was like, oh no, I don't want to be here. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I right. get up and I'm So right. I think my favorite part of kindergarten was uh, making all the fun crafts. Mm -hmm. We made a lot of crafts. And mm -hmm. you did too in first grade mm -hmm. when you um, first started. So, you know, just the glitter. Oh, I love glitter. And just watching them create these really incredible things. And I loved the hats. Yes. We made so many different hats yes. in kindergarten. 
And I know you have poetry hats in first grade. Mm -hmm. and, um, so just the fun part is what I'm going to miss the most, mm -hmm. you know. That's what I will remember the mm -hmm. most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That goes along with your character yes. strength, though. Appreciation of excellence and beauty. You appreciate that creating piece. Yes, and that goes and along with your, your gratitude oh. as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, gratitude that you don't get uh, glitter in your hair and <laughs> glue in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. But I think in first, go ahead, Mrs. Huff. What I was, gonna, I, or what do you? I enjoyed when all of a sudden it appeared as well, like the writings that they did, and then I would uh, send an email, or I would see one of the other grade teachers and say, could we come in and share our the poems mm -hmm. or any writings that we've done? And seeing um, the kids go from September till even like March, the big growth that they made, mm -hmm. and they recognized yeah. the growth. Mm -hmm. That was the big mm -hmm. thing that, that they recognized. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. That I love when you brought the first graders back to kindergarten, yeah. and the kindergartners could see how far they could go. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know? right. my favorite right. thing is beginning our day. Mm -hmm. I love the time spent during morning meeting and building community. Um, I have many, many, many great memories of um, what the children shared and how it just kind of um, rolled into what we were doing for the day or um, just just things that made us laugh. You were talking about humor. We Sometimes we would just have belly laughs and we weren't laughing at anybody. We were just laughing together. Um, and morning meeting is a great opportunity to learn about the details of uh, the students' lives, but also the lives of the the people that work in your classroom, the co-workers. So mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that, and, and I think that's why we feel like family. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I know what's really important. Laughter. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, the laughter the as strength yes, of humor. humor. The laughter in the halls of Manoa mm. is contagious. Mm -hmm. So you, know, you can walk by somebody's classroom and you can hear kids oh, and teachers yes. just bursting out yes. with laughter. Just keep that joy and laughter yes. alive here. Yes. I think I'm going to miss Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I yeah. know. I know. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. And thank you for teaching us. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. That's right. This is the last show for our fifth graders. Many of you have been on on the air with Manila Morning Messages for some of 4th grade and all of 5th grade. We are really going to miss you all. Thank you, Manoa, for letting us share the good news of Manoa to you every week. Who knows, maybe in a few years we will be sharing the morning news with the ESM morning show at the high school. You can be sure that we will be watching YouTube for your morning messages updates. Okay, 4th graders, it's your show now. Good luck. Thank you for keeping the news alive. We'll miss you. That's our show for today. Thanks for watching. Happy birthday, Liam. Don't forget to, don't forget to keep the other people mad our mindset. Appreciate your teachers. Stay hopeful and optimistic, even though it isn't easy. Enjoy the sunshine. Bring back your library books. Next week is the last week of school. Three more days. We will miss you, retirees. Thanks for changing our lives. Don't forget to read. Enjoy your weekend. Actually enjoy your whole summer. See you next year. Bye. Bye.